Are you ready to transform your summer into an epic splash-tastic adventure? Say goodbye to wasteful, single-use water balloons and hello to the ultimate in reusable, eco-friendly fun with reusable water balloons. Check out the link in the video description to get yours on Amazon today. Andy Murray and his wife Kim Sears didn't have a meet-cute. While taking part in an interview on center court following on of his final matches at Wimbledon this week, the tennis player, 37, opened up about when he first met his wife and how things didn't go quite as romantically as he had planned. We met the first time when we were 18 years old, he said. Kim's dad is a tennis coach, and we met over in New York and went out for dinner there at the US Open. Noting that he choked a little bit the first time we went out, Murray continued, we walked her home to her hotel and I asked her for her email address. I don't think that's a normal thing to do, but, she came along to actually watch me for the first time at the US Open, and I actually vomited twice in that match, once right in front of where she was sitting, and then I stood up and vomited on my opponent's racket bag. Still, the athlete said that Sears, 36, still seemed to like me, so I knew she was a keeper after that. He added, she's been an amazing, amazing support to me and to my whole family, and is the best mom. Never miss a story, sign up for our channel's free daily newsletter to stay up to date on the best of what our channel has to offer, from celebrity news to compelling human interest stories. Murray and Sears tied the knot in April 2015, a decade after they first met at the 2005 US Open. In a past interview with the New York Times, when he was asked if marriage made him feel different as he went about playing tennis, Murray replied, I think getting married is a progression. It's a step forward in your life away from the court. But I still need to work hard, I still need to put the work in, the two-time Wimbledon champion continued. Murray added that getting married is great, and I feel really good away from the court, and my private life and stuff is good. But you still need to train and work hard. Like, I didn't go on a honeymoon after we got married, I went to Barcelona and trained for 10 days to get ready for the clay court season, he explained. It's been good, but you still have to put the work in.